Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So welcome you back again after about how many weeks now? About three weeks of staying away because of our uh, end of year prayer and fasting program, which was, you know, in the secret, <laughs> according to scriptures. The Bible says when you pray, at least not every prayer, you come to the public to pray. You know, so we went into our closets, waited on the Lord, who sees in the secret, and prayed. And God is already doing some great and wonderful things. Hallelujah. Amen. So I welcome you back, every one of you, you know, and I would like you to begin to share the page with your loved ones at this time. Call people to get connected because I believe God has something in store for us. Amen. God has been wonderful. He's been great. You know, he has brought us this far. From January till uh, today is the thirtieth day of uh, December. They, you know, and we just have one day to go to see the end of this year that been characterized with a lot of challenges. But God, our Father, has already been on the front. So welcome you again to another midweek service. I remain Pastor Newton, speaking from Grace for All Ministry House of Favor here in Lagos, Nigeria. Amen. So I believe God will say something good to you and you'll be encouraged. I'm going to be sharing briefly with you what I titled tonight, you know, what I titled, Don't Give Up Now. Don't Give Up Now. Don't give up now. You don't need to give up. Don't give up now. <laughs> Amen. Don't give up now. A lot of people have given up. And some are planning to give up because of the challenges and problems that truly characterize this year, 2020. A lot of people have seen problems, you know, but God has been faithful. They say where there is life, there is hope. A man that has life today, and they should be hopeful of better things to happen to him tomorrow. As my prayer and expectation that your tomorrow, your coming year, 2021, will be a better year, a, a glorious year, a year of fruitfulness, a year of peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because God is still on the throne, however we look at it, or whatever man believes or do not believe, God remains God. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to say that you have come a long way. You have come a long way to give up now. You have come a long way to begin to think of giving up. You have come a long way. So don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. For whatever reason. Don't give up for whatever reason. And I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you should not give up. Don't give up because God is still on the throne and is in control. He's indeed in control over everything that is going on on the earth, in the universe. 
is in control. And God is not done with you yet. <laughs> if you really want to know what God thinks about you, the scripture says his plans for you are plans of good and not of evil. So that evil challenges came your way in this past 12 months should not in any way make you to change your impression or idea of what God has for you. The scripture said that Jesus Christ speaking, he said, in this world we shall have what? Tribulations. We shall have tribulations. In this world you have tribulations. But in him, we will have peace. He has assured us of peace. Because he is the prince of peace. He was in the boat with the disciples. But that he was in the boat did not mean that storm should not come. Or storm will not come. The storm came. He was in the boat. He was sleeping. But the disciples were afraid. When they saw the storm, in fact, they rushed to him and woke him up and said, Master, Master, don't you care that we're about to perish? And he woke up. What did he do? He rebuked the storm. And there was peace. You may be wondering, so if the Lord has been with us, if the Lord is with you, why did you have to go through these challenges? You may need to ask God. Don't ask God as though you as though you question in Him. You may have to ask Him to find out where you yourself may have missed it. Because the scripture says that the cost, costless shall not come. You are a child of God. You don't have to live the way the world lives. Even in the midst of all the difficulties and challenges, there are people who don't know God who have been cutting corners to make it. There are people who don't know God who have been using their worldly satanic principles to get wealth. So, but the scripture also have advised you not to envy the sinners. Don't envy anybody. But for you, you say, well, but I've been following God and look at the situation I've been going through and all those things. Child of God, don't worry about that. The greater the challenges you have gone through, the greater the temptations you've gone through, I believe the greater your testimony is going to be. I believe the greater your promotion is going to be. So just hold on to God and don't give up. It may just be a trial of your faith. This year has been an unpleasant one for, in fact, for majority of people. Majority of people. But child of God, God is still who he is. And he still rules in the kingdom of men. So the year 2020 indeed has been a year of troubles and challenges we have seen. And I'm sure that a lot of people also would have wished that this year did not even just come at all. The year did not just come at all. But child of God, in and through all the challenges, here we are. Here you are, the thirtieth day of December of the same year, 2020. Some people died along the way. A lot of people died either by accident, either by assassination, either by, you know, sickness, COVID, you know, all manner of different ways of death, dying. But thank God that you are alive. It is God who has kept you alive. So in the midst of all that, 
Look at it. You have a reason to be grateful to God because you're alive. You're alive. You're alive today. We we'll just have one day to cross over, and by the grace of God, you are in 2021. I say, by the grace of God, you are already in 2021. So I want to congratulate you. I congratulate you and I say that you are more, according to scripture, you are more than conqueror. You are more than conqueror through Jesus Christ that loves us and gave himself for us. You are more than conqueror. You are a winner. You are an overcomer. Hallelujah. And the Lord who has brought you this far, this same Lord who has kept you and brought you this far, irrespective of what you may have experienced or gone through or you are going through right now, He's never going to abandon you. The Lord is never going to abandon you. So don't abandon yourself. <laughs> And don't abandon God. God is not going to abandon you. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. So you can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid of what man or even the devil can do. Hallelujah. So God is not going to abandon you and may you not abandon him. May you have grace to hold on to him. Have grace, receive grace to hold on to him. Tomorrow, surely by the grace of God, we better. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we better for you. Because in the midst of all this crisis, this year, there are people, I'm not talking about unbelievers, there are people who are believers, who have waited on God, who believe God, that also have received some blessings from God. So it's not that the year generally have been totally bad for everybody. There are people who got new jobs this year. There are those who got promotions this year. There are those who started new businesses and they are prospering the businesses. The business are increasing and all those stuff. There are people who got married this year. You know, the people who gave birth to children this year, the people who bought houses, moved into their houses genuinely. I'm still not talking about Christians. So if God had been faithful to these ones, child of God, you should be reminded and encourage yourself that God who did it for them in the midst of this troublesome 2020, the Lord will not forsake you as you get into and through the year 2021. Every man has his own tongue. We pray that next year will be your tongue. Turn to manifest. And by the grace of God, you shall manifest the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amos chapter 3, verse 6 and 7. Because sometimes people are tempted to think, oh, uh, you know, this is that happening, you know, where is God? Or someone will say that God caused it. God caused the COVID-19 because COVID-19 honestly has been one major problem, a major problem that affected almost in fact, almost every area of human life, businesses, you know, education, you know, a lot of schools closed up, you know, market, so many things, marriages, marriages. And some say, well, when this whole thing started, some also thought that maybe, well, God has caused it. But I want to say that, I have said that before, God did not cause the COVID-19. God did not cause it. We know this was satanic. It was devil and his cohorts 
who just want to whatever their reason, whether they want to reduce human population or whatever they plan to do, but it is Satan that caused this COVID, this plague. But God had no need because nothing is ever hid from God. God knew about it, but God allowed it. God has permitted it. He permitted it. So that is why it happened. If God did not allow it, there is nothing anybody, not even Lucifer. Because if God should permit Lucifer, don't forget the, 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 the agenda of Lucifer. This one has come to kill, to steal, to destroy. So if God should allow Lucifer, the devil, to have his way and carry out his agenda, this whole world would have been destroyed even by now. In fact, let me say that even our fathers may not have been born. But the scripture tells us that God is upholding all things by the word of his power. So as long as God is upholding nothing by the word of his power, Satan is never going to be able to destroy the world unless God allows it. And if that same God, the most high God that is upholding all things by the word of his power, is the one upholding you with the right hand of his righteousness, then child of God, be confident that Satan is not going to end your life. Challenges may that job come to shake your faith. The Bible calls it the shrine of your faith, which is much more precious than that of gold. Hallelujah. So Amos says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord had not done it? Now, the Lord can do evil, but in this sense, it's not doing as per causing it, but permitting it, allowing it, allowing it. Thank you, Jesus. He says, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So God knew about this. He revealed it to his servants. A lot of people talk about all this evil, all the plagues and the crisis and all those stuff. God gave revelations to people, his servants, about all this. Not because he is the one causing it, but he knew what the enemy was about to release. But God allowed it. God allowed it. Everywhere, in every nation, there have been crises. People lost their jobs. It's not the will of God that you lose your job. It's not the will of God that you, you, you lose your marriage. It's not the will of God that you lose your loved one. It's not the will of God that you fail. It's not the will of God at all. But you see, when we say it's not the will of God, it's not the will of God in the sense that God did not plan that you should die for those who died, if I use the word prematurely, it was not the will of God that they died prematurely. But they died. God allowed it. Amen. But so God said what? Nothing happens. And I mean nothing happens. Without God knowing, it, knowing about it. Because the scripture says he tells the end from the beginning. Tells the end, the end from the beginning. The things that are going to happen if the Lord Jesus Christ tarries in thousands of years to come. If the Lord tarries, I don't know where he's coming. I know in the last days. But if Jesus Christ tarries, whatever is going to happen in hundreds of 
years to come, thousands of years to come, the Lord already has knowledge of those things. Whether they are good, whether they are bad. He knows. Amen. So whatever the plan of Satan, God is already aware. But God is able to save his own people. And it's my prayer that God will save you. It's my prayer that God will not give up on you. Just like he has promised that he will not give up on you and allow the wicked to take control over your life. Let him stand up on account of his mercy against those that will rise against you. Let God shield you from every satanic manipulation. All the counsel of Satan and his agents to either frustrate your life, to hurt you, to put you to shame or turn your glory to shame or whatever. The Lord in his mercy should shield you from such and turn the plans of the wicked back upon their own head. The Lord makes a way for you. The Lord should make a way for you. 2020 has been a terrible one financially, but in the coming year, may the Lord God Almighty, God, I look, at, look at what, look at what, look at, we can see from scriptures. There was famine in, in Gera, yet God prospered who? He prospered Isaac. Isaac was going to run from, from Gera to Egypt to go look for, for sustenance. But God told him to stay. And the scripture said he planted, he sowed in the land, and God prospered him. God, the same God have assured you and I that in the days of famine, economic reception, that he's going to sustain us. God will sustain you, child of God. God will sustain you. God will sustain you. Come 2021. By the grace of God, you break forth. You will break forth by the grace of God in 2021. Only listen to him. Only follow him. Only walk with him. David said, David said, we, we read that scripture often, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. As the Lord is your shepherd, listen to the voice of the shepherd and follow the shepherd. The shepherd knows where the green grasses are, the green pastures are. Let the shepherd lead you, the sheep, to the green pasture. Let him make it a lie down in green pasture. Let him lead you beside, still, beside the still waters. So that even if you go through the valley of the shadow of death, let him be the one to defend you. Let him be the one to preserve you. Let him be the one to protect. Let him be the one to fight your battle. So your prayers, your desire should be to follow the good shepherd, to follow the leading of the good shepherd. Just follow him. Because the truth is that Without missing war, 2021, naturally speaking, it's not going to be better than 2020. There's no point telling, giving you hope that may not be there. The only reason I say that 2021 will be better for you because when I trust God, who makes a way where there is no way. God did it for the children of Israel while they were Egypt. Darkness was upon the land of Egypt. But in Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was light. There will be light, even though the, the entire world, the nation where you are, even though there will be darkness, but the Lord will be a light unto you. The Lord Jehovah will be a light unto you. The Lord will give you light. So you need to hold on to God. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on yourself. Don't be envious of unbelievers. Don't be envious of people who don't know God, who have used terrible means 
to amass wealth or get wealth or get whatever, material blessings. Don't envy them. Trust God that God will guide you. God will give you a job. God will give you a business to do. God will direct you. God will lead you. So don't yield yourself to him and follow him. It will be well with you. 2021 will be well with you by the grace of God. By the grace of God. All the doors that seem to have been shut this year, by the grace of God, will be opened unto you. All the ways that the enemy think they have shut, because child of God, there is nothing the enemy will do that God cannot undo. So whatever the enemy thought they have done to frustrate you, to put you down, child of God, by the grace of God, your 2021, all the wells that have been shut, God will open up the wells for you. Every way the enemy has closed up, God will open them for you because he makes a way where there is no way. This year, 2021, has taught us a lot of, 2020 has taught us a lot of lessons. This year has taught us a lot of lessons. I mean a lot of lessons. Lessons. Lessons that we should, we should remember always. You have to remember those lessons. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, like they say, once beaten, twice shy. The scripture says what? Affliction should not come the second time. When you are not able to learn your lesson, then the tendency is that you may get into or experience this evil that I've experienced this year. But I pray that God will give you grace to learn your mistakes you may have made, to learn your lesson and look unto God. You may not have been very committed to God. You know, many times we seem to say, well, God, where were you? If we don't ask ourselves, how committed have I been in my work with God? How committed have I been in my work with God? Child of God, listen, listen, listen. Just hold on to God. Delight yourself in the Lord. The scripture said that God takes pleasure in your prosperity. God is interested in your well-being. He's interested in your prosperity. So just hold on to him. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on him. Learn the lesson you would have learned this year. Learn the lesson and make sure you don't remain where you are this year in the coming year. In your work with God. In your work with God. Hallelujah. We have seen that this year, in this year we, we, we saw that truth has fallen. According to scripture, he said truth has fallen in the streets. And equity cannot hold. Equity cannot hold. We celebrated criminals. Or in fact, we say celebrate criminals. We celebrated, we celebrate thieves. We celebrate liars. We celebrate the evil. The abnormal has become the normal. Those are the things that we have seen happen this year. This year, particularly, this has been loaded with all manner of evil, honestly. That is why it's, it is like, you know, criminality is like a profession. A pro another profession that people desire, even public, to say, I want to go be that. Things. Ordinarily, people should be ashamed of. Those are the things people publicly declare. They don't mind. Tell someone that this guy is uh, an internet uh, fraudster. There are people that will celebrate him. There are people that are going to tell you. <laughs> I remember a story I read, you know, about some young man. Who cheated? Uh, I think he, he, he cheated uh, an, an, an Indian uh, Indian company or Indian Indian man of uh, how many million? About twelve million uh, 
Naira, Naira, Nigerian currency. And people were making comment that ah, that the guy didn't do well now, that he should have taken, he should have stolen more. That the guy disgraced them. You can imagine that. You can imagine that. You can imagine that. So the abnormal has become the normal. We call those who are good, we call them bad. This year, those are the things we have really noticed particularly this year. The bad people, we call them the good people. Who made unholy, unholy, sacred things. That is why churches have been so much been abused. Pastors have been so much been abused. Why? Because of some elements also in the church who have decided to live like the unbelievers. But like they say, like we say here in Nigeria, sometimes you cannot tell the difference between a motor mechanic here, back here, and a madman on the street because of the way they dress. But it's unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate. But because of this kind of way and manner of life that people have began to, began to celebrate, a lot of people are now being tempted to join the chariot or join the train of criminality, to join the train of fraudsters and liars, just because they also want to be celebrated or want to make it, like they say, want to make it, they made it, big boys and big girls, a celebrity. Child of God, don't lose your faith for anything. Don't lose hope. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose hope. God is on the throne. God has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten you. I only encourage you to be where God will, the blessings of God will locate you. Delight in God. You missed it, find where you missed it and return back to where you ought to be in your walk with God. God will not abandon you. So don't abandon you. Don't think God will ever abandon you. Please, don't ever think, don't think that. No matter the situation, challenges will be there. Christianity in the first place is not a bed of roses. But always bear in mind that no matter the trials, no matter the tribulation, God will never abandon you. He said many are the afflictions of the righteous. God will deliver the righteous from every one of them. The enemy have put you under pressure. Tomorrow I'm going to be speaking, you know, tomorrow watch the, what they call the crossover night. Anyway, different countries may be experiencing the crossover night at different times because of the time zone. But, but those of us here in West Africa, you know, operating on the West African time, we're still going to hold, we're not having a physical gathering. We're going to be holding a crossover night, starting about the same time. But we hold it and then cross over. It's not going to, we're not going to hold it and then close before it. We'll be declaring some things from the previous year into the new year. We really cross over online. The enemy, this is not what it should be. These are the example of what we're talking about. The enemy want to reset everything. Turning the good to the become bad, the bad to become good. The way we should worship God. Instead of gathering together, making us to now begin to speak online as though that is how God wants us to worship him. But God is in, on the throne. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Unfaithfulness have been the order of the day. Unfaithfulness. 
people unfaithful to their friends, unfaithful to parents, unfaithful to their employers, unfaithful to God. And people celebrate this. Unfaithfulness in marriage, in relationships. All these are the things that we have seen in this year, 2020. It's our prayer, it's my prayer that this 2020 is going away. We pray that it should go away with all the evil, the negativities it came with. But listen to me, child of God, truth be told, the coming year, the coming year is only by the grace of God. And we pray that that grace of God be upon you. That no matter what happened in 2021, 2000, the light of God will be upon you. Darkness may be on the land, but by the grace of God, you will dwell in the light. God should not just allow the things that happened this year to happen to you in 2021. That's our prayer. God should not allow the things that happened in this 2020 to happen to you in 2021. He said, because there is no temptation, because it's a big temptation. It's a trial of your faith. He said, no temptation have befallen you that is not common to men. With the temptation, he will, he will make a way of escape. May God make a way of escape so that in 2021, you will not be tempted the way you have been tempted this year. May God make a way of escape for you. So that you don't go through temptation the way you have gone through temptation this year. Let God make a way of escape for you. Let God deliver you from every counsel and plan of the wicked. Every plan of Satan to bring you down. May God frustrate them. But right now, child of God, right now, as you prepare because we just have one day, one day to get into the new year. One day to get into the new year. It will be my prayer that you take time to ponder. Because it may not just be enough to say, oh, this has been terrible. Why didn't God do this one? Why didn't God do that one? Didn't God see it? Like I said, God sees everything. There is nothing going on anywhere without his knowledge. Nothing. There's no even thought in the heart of any man or spirit concerning you or concerning this situation without God's knowledge. He sees everything, he knows everything. So my advice, my counsel is for you to sit back now, tonight, and ponder, begin to ponder, how did I spend my life this year? How did I spend my, my days this year? In relation to God's counsel. In relation to God's counsel. How did I spend my days? Are there things that I did I ought not to have done? Are there things that I'm supposed to do that I didn't do according to the word of God, according to what God expects of me? Those are the questions you should ask yourself. Are there forces that have stood against me? Why? Were there doors I opened? To these forces to oppose me. Just take your time. Because, child of God, it's my prayer that you don't carry over into the next year any excess luggage. You don't carry into the next year any of those negative things challenges the spirit behind them will not follow you into the new year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever spirit that have resisted, opposed you, has stood against you, it's my prayer that God will destroy them. As Israel was crossing the Red Sea, 
Before they crossed the Red Sea, God said to the children of Israel, Say, These Egyptians you are seeing today, you will see them no more. All the challenges you are seeing this year as you cross by the grace of God tomorrow into the new year, you will not see them in Jesus' mighty name. But these forces, some of them are eternal within you. Some are external, without. But whether they are within or without, it is my prayer that God will give you grace to get them out from your life. Let God purge you of those things. Look at this. It may be the last scripture I'm reading, but I would also like you to read on your own. Isaiah chapter 59 to see where I'm making reference to truths as well on the streets. Equity cannot hold. Read Isaiah chapter 59, verses 1 to 15. You can read that. But here in Joshua, Joshua chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, and then 8, 10, he said, And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan. It was not only the rest. The rest was a popular one where God overthrew Pharaoh. I think I mean that is why it was very popular. The story of uh, uh, rest is popular because of what God did to Pharaoh. Rest was not only what God divided. So they came to to Jordan. He and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they passed over before they pass over or they cross over. Hallelujah. Verse 2, And it came to pass after three days, after three days, while they were there, that the officers went through the host and they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priest, the leader there in it, then you shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Come not near it, unto it, that you may know the way by which you must go. For you have not passed this way here to fall. We have not gone through 2021 before. We have not passed through that way before. But as we speak, God knows everything about 2021. The Holy Spirit of God, whom he has given to guide us, to lead us, to teach us. He knows everything about the way in 2021. He knows where the challenges will be. He knows where the green patches will be. He knows where we'll find favor. He knows where we'll find job. He knows where we'll find relationships. He knows where we'll find peace. He knows where there'll be troubles. So if we allow him to lead us, we allow him to lead you, it's our prayer that he will not lead into temptation because God said we should pray that he, God, should not lead us into temptation. So the Holy Spirit should not lead you into temptation. The ones who went through this year should be enough. That you should not be tempted the way the enemy will want to tempt you in the coming year. So because we have not come through that way, child of God, that is why now ponder and make a quality decision to give yourself over to the Holy Spirit, to God, so that God Almighty will guide you. Let him guide you. Don't use your head. Don't go to the devil. Let God guide you. Let God guide you. Unbelievers may make it. Our life is not just about making it financially or materially. The major reason we are children of God is because of heaven. So it's not about, because that is why the church said the kingdom of God is not about meat and drink. So it's not about just making it financially or making it materially or making it in our business or whatever. Mm -mm. You will make it. But make it by the help of God. Don't make it 
through Satan. Don't make it depend on your own strength. So that child of God, listen, when the challenges of life will come, let God be the one to defend you. Don't make it through the devil so that you don't lose your eternity with God. Don't go depend on yourself because if you depend on yourself, when challenges will come, you can't defend yourself. And not all the blessings that Satan will give you. In fact, all, none of the blessings that Satan will give to you will come with peace. Satan does not do anything for somebody for free. So don't go mortgage your, your, your life, mortgage your children yet unborn just because you want to make it and be celebrated and be hailed by human beings. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, it's a big woman. Oh, it's a rich man. Oh, it's a rich woman. Oh, it's a rich this. Oh, it's a this successful this. Listen to me. Listen to me. Depend on God. God is interested in your prosperity more than you are interested in it yourself. Hold on to him. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Let the Lord be the one to give you favor before people. The heart of all men, the heart of kings, is in the hands of the Lord. Somebody during the, maybe last week or two weeks ago, one of my daughters in the Lord called me and said, Daddy, listen, you know, in the place where she's working, you know, she's been wanting to get moved to another location. You know, she's qualified for it, but, you know, the people where, and the, the department where she is at this time, they will need to approve. If they don't release that, they cannot send her to that uh, uh, department where she desires to because she believes that that is a better place for her. The other people say, okay, she can come. They want her, but she must be released. And she has been on this matter. And when she comes and says, Daddy, I don't know, please, I want to be get just let's pray so that pray for me so that they can release me. This is about two weeks or three weeks ago. And I prayed for her. I said, the heart of those people you are working with presently is in the hands of God. Nobody can hold you down. Because God said we give all desire for our heart. And just ran shortly before I started this meeting, she called me. She called me just before I started this meeting to tell me that, oh, daddy, they have approved it now and I'm going. I said, praise the Lord. God will do it for you also. I said, God will do it for you also. God will do it for you. The Lord is the same everywhere. He hears our prayers. Hallelujah. That is God crowning her year yeah, with, 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 with glory and honor. This is just a, a few days to the end, a few days, like one, or, one or two days to the end of the year, and she got this. That is last minute miracle. That is the God we serve. Or at the last minute, God parted the Red Sea. God parted River Jordan. So every Jordan on the way in 2021, God knows where they are. God will divide the Jordan for you. God will divide the Red Sea for you. So just hold on to God. Hold on to God, child of God. 2021 will be great for you. It's my prayer. 2021, by the grace of God, I say it shall be great for you. Whatever the counsel, the plan of the enemy, you know, it shall not come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, but one thing, look at uh, chapter 3. That's in chapter 3, verse, I'm reading verse, uh, what now, verse 5. Verse 5 says, and Joshua said to the people, sanctify yourselves. Sanctify yourself, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. So sanctify yourself now. That's the point I'll be making to you. Sanctify yourself now. Sanctify yourself for God will do wonders for you. Sanctify yourself. The Lord will do wonders for you. Just sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself. God will do wonders for you. Sanctify yourself. I say sanctify yourself. What does it mean? Don't allow, you see, 
Don't allow any sin. Make sure you repent. Make sure that those things you were doing before that are not consistent with the will of God, drop them. Tell God who have mercy upon you. You may have struggled, you may have been wanting to do it like unbelievers, just tell God to forgive you. God will make a way for you. God will lead you by his spirit. May God take his hand and lead you. May God grant that whatever, whether it's River Jordan, whether it's the Red Sea that will stand on your way, whether it's the giants, you know, whether the Goliaths that will be in the way in 2021, the Lord take care of them for you. If God will bring you to any river Jordan, if you bring you to the any rest, don't worry yourself. As long as you believe and strongly hold on to God, come to river Jordan, come to the rest. Sea. If God takes you there, God will make a way for you there. So don't worry yourself. Don't bother yourself. If God takes you there, God will make a way for you there. So let's just be sure that nothing, no weight, no weight, no weight. He said, lay aside those weights. Lay aside their sins, the weights that doth easily beset you. Let this coming year go into it by the grace of God without any of those weights. Hallelujah. Say, sanctify yourself. Tomorrow the Lord will do what? A great thing for you. Tomorrow. He says, sanctify yourself. For tomorrow the Lord will do a great thing. Do we do wonders? Let God take you by hand and lead you. You will experience greatness in this coming year. You will experience the glory of God in the coming year. The favor of God will rest upon you. Men will favor you in the coming year by the grace of God. Every plan of the enemy concerning you will not stand. Don't bother going to read the horoscope. <laughs> Say your star. <laughs> it is what the, the witches and wizards, it is what the stargazers, it is what Satan and his agents have programmed, projected into the heavens that they're also going to read back to you. So your star is not a, a Pisces or Scorpio or whatever you call them. Amen. God, in his word, say, the sun in 2021 shall not smite you by the day. The moon in 2020, the stars in 2021 shall not smite you in the night. The heavens will declare the glory of God upon you come 2021. The righteousness of God is what they shall reveal upon you. The righteousness of God. It's what they shall reveal. The blessings of God is what they will reveal upon you. It's a prayer that your heavenly blessings, because God has blessed you with all spiritual blessings, heavenly blessings, may those blessings begin to find their way to you as when you need them in the year 2021. May they find their way to you. May God grant that when you pray to him, depending on what your need may be in the year, may the Lord answer you with speed. And may the angels of God bring down those blessings to locate you. Listen to me, child of God. We serve the God that is all knowing. Nobody knew where Elijah was in the wilderness, but God sent the raven to locate Elijah and fed Elijah in the morning, in the evening. Breakfast, dinner. <laughs> Breakfast, dinner. Elijah was fed, taken care of. And when God knew the water dried up, God sent him to a woman of Zarephath. Let God take care of you, child of God. Don't, don't envy the wicked. Don't envy, um, don't envy people who have, who, who have made it or who think want to make it dubiously or through crime or criminality or corruption. Don't envy them. Hold on to eternal life. Fight a good fight of faith. Trust that God, Jehovah, will bless you. And God will honor his word in your life. You'll be blessed. You'll be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, child of God, this is the word of God for us tonight. It's word of God for you tonight. That don't give up. Hold on to God. Don't give, it's too late. You have come this far. 
in your work, don't give up, no matter what. Hmm? <laughs> you have come this far, don't give up. <laughs> it's my prayer that God should have mercy. You know, I know you're a human being, okay? You're a human being, but God should have mercy. You know, you may be tempted, you know, to give up, to say, this, 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 this. But child of God, that is why you are a child of God. That is why God said you should live by faith. You should walk by faith. That's why you have to walk by faith. You have to live by faith. <laughs> That's what faith life is. Because faith must be tried. Your faith must go through trial. So I thank God. The most important thing is that I thank God for your strength to stand. And may you not fall. I pray may you not fall. May you not give up on the way. May you not fall by the wayside. May God, may the Holy Spirit strengthen your heart. May the Holy Spirit strengthen your body. May the Holy Spirit quicken your body. Because the Bible says that they are giving us the Holy Spirit to quicken our mortal body. The same Spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead. May the Spirit of God quicken you, strengthen you, encourage you. May the Lord open your inner ear to hear the voice of the Lord saying to you, this is the way, follow it, this is the way. May you hear the Spirit of the Lord saying to you, this is the way. May you not walk in the wrong side of the road. I say, may you not walk on the wrong side of the road. May the Lord hold your hand and lead you. May you yield yourself to the Lord. And may you find peace and joy and glory as you follow the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I thank you again for this wonderful moment that we've had in your presence. Daddy, you are God Almighty. All power belongs to you. As we speak, you already know January, February, all to the, in fact, to eternity. <laughs> all to eternity, you already know. We want to say thank you for bringing us this far. If it were not for you, would have even been dead in the course of the year. But that you kept us alive, oh God, because you have not finished with us yet. And your word tells us that your thoughts for us are thoughts of good and not of evil. To give us a future based on the hope of your word, based on what the Lord Jesus Christ, your son, has accomplished for us. Your word tells us you, that you, you delight, you take pleasure in our prosperity. For it is a good pleasure of your will for us to prosper and to be in health, even as our soul prospers. So, Father, we are grateful to you. We appreciate you. We say, Lord, you therefore have brought us this far, that you know, in the midst of all the challenges, in the course of this year, 2021, you saved us. You provided for us. We may not have we may not have gotten to that place or received those blessings that we actually expected to receive. But Lord, all the same, you have kept us alive and have brought us this far. My God, it's our prayer that, Lord, as you take us into and through the coming year, every Egyptian, every giant, all the Goliaths and the brothers, Lord, that we walk against us as we go through the year 2021. My God, may you take care of them. May the Jishan be cut off. Every Pharaoh be cut off. The Red Sea, oh God, at every Red Sea, may you part the Red Sea. May you part the River Jordans. The mountains, oh God, you remove on us. You make a way where there is no way. May you make a way for us, oh God. That through the year 2021, oh God, you will take a hand and lead us and make us to lie down in green pastures. You will bring us to the worthy place, oh God. You give us the grace to serve you better. Lord, your word says that you are refining us because it is your will to deliver from the hand of our enemies, even from the hand of those that hate us, that we may serve you without fear. That we may serve you in righteousness and in holiness without all the days of our life. And Lord, so we are trusting you, King of Glory, that Lord, as you refine us, you know who our enemies are, oh God. You know those who don't want us to progress. You know those who have limited our lives. You know those of oh God who, who don't want us to even be alive. My God, you are promised to contend with our enemies. I say, Father, may you contend with every power of darkness, every agent of Satan, whoever they may be, that will want to interfere 
with our lives as you take us into and through the new year 2021. All the challenges of this year, my God, we pray, Lord, that they all be destroyed on this side, on this side, on this side, in this side, in this 2021, so that, Lord, as you take us through none of these challenges, none of those demons, evil forces, spirits, or their works, their program projected, to accompany, none of them will accompany us. We go in your name, we go in your glory, your words say, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And so, Jesus, as we come into the year 2021, we declare blessing upon our lives. I declare blessing upon the life of your children. I declare peace. I declare glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, I say the blessing of God will be your portion. They will manifest as when you need them. The glory of God will be your portion. I declare some health upon you. I declare the Lord shield you from every manner of virus, whether COVID or whatever the enemy will seek to introduce or bring. The Lord will shield you from them all. The Lord keep you safe and secure. The Lord take care of you when you go out and when you come back home. The Lord grant that the wicked won't operate on your way as you journey through the year 2021 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord supply and meet your every need. And may the Lord grant you peace such peace that will have no room at all to envy the wicked in their prosperity or envy the criminals or envy the, 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 the wicked in their evil ways. But that you will serve the Lord and wait on the Lord and the Lord will bless you with such blessings that you will not have any sorrow in receiving those blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Child of God, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The word I heard today, may the Lord grant that this word will encourage you and give you great peace. Where you were losing hope before, may the Lord fill you with hope today. The Lord fill you with hope. In those areas where you have lost hope, may the Lord fill those areas of your life with hope. That you may know that Jehovah God is your father and he's in charge and he's in control and he's able to turn this around for you. The Lord turn this around for you to the glory and honor of his name. Father, we say thank you. I give you praise and glory, O oh God. Yes, thank you for answer to this prayer. Thank you for the time we spend in your presence, our God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. So that is the word for you tonight. Word for us tonight. Amen. So this is our last uh, midweek service. And I thank God that you were there today. Last week, midweek service in the of the year 2020. Amen. Amen. So receive strength to go into the new year. Receive grace to, 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 to walk with the Lord in a greater measure in the year 2021. Receive grace. Receive grace. You will run and not faint. You will run and not fall on the wayside. Hallelujah. The Lord will supply and give you everything you need to run the race. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So thank God for your life that at least you were here today. You know, this next coming year shall be better for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, um, before we leave, I want to encourage you. Tomorrow, we're going to be having our uh, crossover uh, night. Okay? 11 o'clock. And then, we'll have our we'll crossover in the God's presence. It's not that we're going to start at 10 o'clock and then 10 o'clock and then we end by 11 like we have been made to, we have been told to, because there is curfew here, you know, in, in Lagos, in Nigeria, a lot of churches, you know, may not really be having um, the crossover night as it were. Some going to have it earlier than close before 12 o'clock. Curfew starts between 12 o'clock until 4, 4 a.m., you know. So, but we need to cross over. Be in your house, wherever you are, right in your house, we'll cross over. Hallelujah. You know, we'll do it here online. God is with us. No matter what the enemy will bring God with us, Satan is defeated. Hallelujah. He cannot, he cannot quench our faith. He cannot discourage us. He may, we may be tempted, but child of God, God is our, us on our side. The Lord Jesus Christ was tempted. The Bible says he was tempted in all points as we are tempted, but he didn't fall. I pray you will not fall. You will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give Christ the grace to stand. We give you grace to stand. We are more than conquerors. You are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. You are a winner. You are an overcomer. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So tomorrow, we're meeting here for crossover. You know, 
uh, on the same platform, you know, so make sure you tune in tomorrow and God will strengthen you and bless you as well. Uh, a normal service, in the year is just a matter of the number of days. <laughs> All right, coming week, next week, Wednesday, we're meeting again, midweek service, first midweek service in the year 2021. Then this coming Sunday is going to be the first uh, this coming Sunday is going to be the first, uh, what do you call it, first Sunday of the year. So, also meet online. So, God bless you. Thank you for being part of tonight's meeting. I encourage you, give your soul, your seed, your offering. Otherwise, bank transfer, you live around the church, you can go to the church and then drop your physical cash. And God will honor your offering and bless you. So, I pray the Lord Receive whatever offering you are giving to his work. And the Lord bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord supply and meet your every need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord rebuke Satan on your behalf. All this Lord poverty that have plagued around you this year, the Lord cut them off that you will not go with them into the year 2021. So God bless you. And until tomorrow when we meet for the crossover, remain blessed and remain rapturable. For the Lord Jesus Christ is coming again. See you then. Good night.